Hey, welcome back to Armchair Architects as part of the Azure Enablement Show during our AI season. So we're going to talk to our architects today about going from proof of concept to production. Hey, everybody. Hi, guys. Well, welcome back. It's always great to see you folks. I'm going to give us a challenge. We're not super great at short, direct episodes because we like to talk about this stuff because this stuff is super interesting to us. So here's my challenge to us. I'm going to ask you a single question. You can give me a single answer back and we'll see where that goes and we'll see if we can't knock this out like super easy. The question that I have for you is this. What should an architect do or pay attention to when they're trying to go from a proof of concept in this world of AI and LLMs to production? What are the thing, you know, what are the top three things or even just three things that you think they need to pay attention to or actually do to actually do this stuff? That's my question for you. Gentlemen, one of you take it away. Boy, this is this is tough. This is like choosing your favorite child. <laughs> okay. so, Give me but, what you got. But here's here, I'll start on the technical side of things. Um, Great. So so for me, it's um, scale. Um, making sure that the ability for the model partner that you choose or the hosted foundational model or your model can receive um, queries and API uh, requests and generate responses and um, you know, valuable responses and inferences in a timely fashion. Uh, it's integration with existing systems. What does the API surface of the model partner you've chosen look like? How do they secure it? How do they, do they offer things like, you know, schematization of prompts and returns? Um, do they allow for confidence intervals for rating the uh, return from the LLM? Error handling and robustness. Uh, if I do get a strange and or low confidence response from a hosted model, how do I deal with that? How do I trap it? How do I know? Uh, and then runners up, you asked for three. So runners up are monitoring and performance uh, and then scale to me. It's just how many simultaneous uh, connections can I make? Okay, that was a good speed run, Uli. Yeah, so I will add a couple of things. One is latency. Uh, so the latency of the inferencing is going to be important because the larger the language model is, the more it uh, is going to take time uh, to respond. And you need to figure out, is that going to be okay or not, uh, given your uh, scenario? The other one that I personally love for everybody to do is cost engineering. Um, if you just go into the OpenAI family of services, there is actually in each of the, the GPT versions actually is four models, not just one. So you have the simple model called ADA all the way to DaVinci, which is the complex model. And while most customers will say, oh, I need DaVinci, it's also the slowest and the most expensive. So if you can live with ADA, uh, which is much simpler, uh, and but much faster and cheaper, now you're getting uh, a benefit right there. And it's also, we purposely, as Microsoft, for example, we host GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, um, because the GPT 3.5 is a fantastic model um, to this day. And there's lots and lots of scenarios where you don't need GPT 4, which is more complex and more expensive. So cost engineering for me is the second element. And then the third element um, is making sure that the hosting system that you have set up is secure, um, is effectively um, a part of your enterprise uh, security model. And again, that has to be thought through as part of the model, uh, pick, picking the right model, the right model partner, and so forth, so that you can ensure that only the right people have access to the endpoints, um, and so forth. Wow, that was great. Okay, well, just just because we're ch changing things up, I'll include two for yucks. Um, one of them is how are your guardrails? We talked about content safety. We talked about um, how we're going to process the prompts as they come in and how they go out. And I want to feel really secure about that. And two, I would probably want to make sure that 
what we've discussed is observability and there's different conversations about what you mean by observability, but you wanna make sure that you can be monitoring the right things and um, that you're monitoring the right things from the customer's perspective as well um, about this and that you have that capability to do that. It's not gonna be really fun when you're like, oh, well, wait a second, we didn't keep a log of that or wait a second, we don't actually have that or we don't actually know where the traffic's coming from or what's going on when you know somebody decides to flood your LLM or your API, the, you know, the usual stuff. So those are mine. I can't believe it, but we might have actually created a short episode. So with that, I want to thank Eric and Uli, and I thank all of you for watching us here on the Armchair Architects as part of the Azure Enablement Show. Thank you.